could not find any dice. So we're just going to do with papers. I'm gonna see which zodiac sign will come first. Because we can always start with Aries, but I actually wanna start with whatever is divinely guided to start with. Which zodiac sign? Oh, we have one coming out. So, okay. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Eight. Ooh, we have eight. We will start off with Scorpio today. That's cool. I love that. Okay. Hello, my magical light beings, and welcome all to this video. Today, my name is Shalita. Welcome to this channel. This channel is all about magical consciousness. And in today's video, I'm very excited because I've been thinking about this idea for some, some time now. And yesterday night, I was like, oh my god, I know how to put it together. In this video, I will be sharing a message for each north node sign this can be a western or vedic astrology astrology you can pick yourself it's just actually the message that will be guided towards you as well that i um will put down below if you don't know what your north node is in astrology uh, i will put a link down below you can search it up but for those who are not really into astrology i wanted to actually add another choice as you can pick the number one up to 12 as there are 12 zodiac signs and uh, then you can pick a number and that will be the message for your destiny as the north node is in correlation with your destiny as both our north node and our destiny are not something in the future you know a lot of us say this your destiny is something that is destined for you in your lifetime but for me personally and this is what i resonate with is that our north node and our destiny are something in the present moment in this now moment it is there and we can decide to walk the path of our north node our destiny the path of love of our soul as our soul is in this present moment it's right here right now there's no time to that so that's why uh, this message is going to be for your present moment this moment right now um, and as well that you know it is uh, your north node placement is a placement of you going out of your comfort zone it's not something you're used to it's something you're learning this lifetime so you know whatever you will pick for your north node is maybe something you have to learn or is something you maybe struggle a little bit more with than with your south node for example but <laughs> if you don't know about all of this stuff I will leave a link down below as I don't want to put too much information in this video as this video is really about the message that I'm going to give. Always choose your own discernment with whatever I am sharing and you know if you are here with me today this message was uh, divinely guided towards you but if you don't feel guided to watch any of these messages don't do it you know listen to your intuition I will have the timestamps down below of each zodiac sign. We will start off with Scorpio as you saw at the beginning you know I picked uh, I shuffled i don't know how even to explain that <laughs> i got these papers and you saw it we got number eight and that's um uh, in astrology the scorpio so we will start off with that one and then i will have a list of all the zodiac signs as well as the numbers with the timestamps so you can pick that right now and we can start off this video starting off with our north notes in scorpio oh my god okay so i have these two cards right here these are my own made cards uh, astrology and planets so we have scorpio of course so for you the message is I am safe to say that for yourself I am safe your deep and mysterious I desire so for you I feel like you know the message is to really know that you are safe in regards to your desires whatever you are um, passionate about to know that you are safe in that and that you can as well call in for uh, protection in regards to you following that what really ignites you and what as well as you're deep and mysterious to really allow that to come true to shine through you know that scorpio quality is actually a gift you can tune into and so something you can tune in with is your mysteriousness maybe the more mystical side is something you can allow even more that you know you don't have to be afraid of that as well because it's something new to you because as our north node is something new that we're learning in this lifetime so you know <laughs> to allow yourself to uh, tune in with that and the planet you have is pluto intensity depth power transformation and rebirth and <laughs> Oh my god evolution <laughs> i could almost not say it evolution so for you guys you know in this present moment know that you know you will probably go through a lot of transformations in your lifetime but that you are right now going through a major powerful transformation that will allow you to even experience more depth 
uh, of yourself to really see um, because that's what I'm getting with you guys really that you uh, learn so much about yourself really your depth and your individuality and your passion and intensity that that is your superpower and that you can tune in with that and then from the sacred destiny oracle deck we have one card for today is your message we have abundance wow okay so you guys will in this present moment you are going to experience or are experiencing this present moment in abundance and i feel like this abundance has to do with <laughs> it's even like yeah this is what i'm getting an abundance of who you are so you know in this card i will show you guys up close in this card you see all these flowers and they're blossoming and they're really uh being their true self and really their authentic self so for you guys i feel like it's it's just you guys really tuning in with your unique colors and to really allow those to shine and that it's okay and um, that is why an abundance of love, of energy is coming your way right now. An abundance of a lot of stuff, you know, abundance is very, very open energy, it's very limitless so abundance can come in many forms and maybe that is something you guys uh, have to know right now that there are things coming into your reality that you maybe don't have um, very unexpected because you know the Pluto is a, bit, a little bit more of a mysterious energy so maybe the abundance will come into a little bit more of an unexpected way but know that abundance is coming your way and that as well a lot of energy is ready to be awakened within you because I feel this like so strong it's so cool when I tune in with these uh, zodiac signs how they actually feel within myself as the Scorpio right now is making me very like heated and it's very like passionate energy so know that that is something that will be awakened within you and that is so beautiful so that was your message for today thanks so much for listening and we will go on to the next so if you picked <laughs> the second one or the north node in sagittarius this is going to be your message i have two cards from my astrology planet deck that i made myself and we have sagittarius over here i am free you're funny and open-minded i understand so in this present moment it, you can allow yourself to tune in with your freedom your understanding your higher perspective and that that is something something that's going to help you in this present moment to see where you can maybe allow yourself to be more free and uh, as well understanding yourself and the world even more and <laughs> something that you are going to be tapping into if you allow is your funniness your open-mindedness to know that you can be someone like that you can allow yourself to have fun and to be open-minded and to try new things that's not a bad thing or anything of this matter and now with your planet of jupiter we have optimism abundance big uh big appetite for life luck and optimism growth understanding once again so with jupiter here know that luck is on your side i feel like if you have a sagittarius north node it's something that you're not used to but it's actually something if you tune in with your destiny your nerd node you will see how much luck you're going to be experiencing and maybe in the past you have not really experienced that much luck with you know the opposite energy uh, of jupiter but right now in this present moment if you receive this if you tune in with this nerd node if, with love you're going to experience so much luck and to really um, know that you can as well be optimistic about life, that not all bad things are happening. Because I hear that a lot in my head right now, like the word bad. I normally never use that because I know that it's not really like, like a thing, the good or the bad. But maybe you've experienced not so nice things in your lifetime or in your reality uh, lately or just in general but know that <laughs> luck is on your side and you can stay optimistic and to really tune in with that very light-hearted energy of jupiter and know that you are growing right now like you are going through major growth major up leveling i feel like you know sagittarius is a, an energy that levels up majorly like they make big steps and they really are good at it so you know you will be making big steps it will really help you grow and understand things better you know see things from a different perspective and maybe in this present moment you are being guided to see things from a higher perspective and you are learning more about uh, yourself or your um, reality so the message we will have is from the sacred destiny oracle deck wow okay so for you guys the message is to be open 
to be open to receive yeah that was what i was getting to be open to receive the beauty of life to um know that a lot of clarity is upon you a lot of light a lot of beautiful things are shining upon you like the clouds of your reality are going away and there is this very beautiful clear night sky and we'll see the stars and that really is cool with sagittarius you know the higher perspective uh the stars and the full moon is completion so you are experiencing your destiny right now a completion a completion that makes you see things so clearly and uh, maybe really shifts your perspective in a way or really allows you to see life in a different way and to be open and to um as well you know with receiving abundance to know that maybe you want to go about things very fast <laughs> that's what i was getting or that is something maybe you have to, can tune in with but i feel like you are wanting things to go very fast so i had to breathe and i was not breathing at all so <laughs> breathe allow yourself to receive to maybe be still for a moment and to know that if you are taking a break that still beautiful things can come your way uh, and that was the message for you today so thanks so much for listening and we will go on to the next so if you picked the third one or your north node is in capricorn this is going to be your message i have these two cards right here from my own made planet astrology deck and we have the capricorn card i will read it i am deserving your humble and true i use so of course the north node is a placement of that is something we are learning in this lifetime so you are learning that you are deserving. You are realizing that you actually are deserving of things and that you can use uh, your talents, your gifts, whatever you're good at, whatever you are good at accumulating, that is something you are going to be using and that you can tune in with that. And that's totally okay. And <laughs> I love, I love this one message right here. You're humble. You know, I'm not going to say that you're not, you know, that's just not okay, but, and true. So really, really allow yourself to be truthful, to be really true to who you are, to really stay so true to you, that you don't have to change for anybody, um, you know, that you really allow yourself to be yourself and to really know that you can really stand firm in a whatever you personally are excited about and with your planet of saturn we have discipline law hard work ethic ambition and responsibility so with this north node placement you know a lot of the times i feel like maybe the people that have this north node placement have never really tuned in as well in their past with their ambition that they're really going for what they're ambitious about they're actually uh really taking care of a lot of other people but not really what they want to um accomplish themselves and that's your message for right now to really go for that which you are ambitious about to take responsibility of that and to know that it's okay to take a lot of time to work for your goals and you don't have to feel like bad about that <laughs> like as well you stay humble and you stay true to you you know um and as well with others and it's a balance of course but i feel like that's your message you know to really go for that to not feel any guilt or bad feelings in regards to you really going for your goals and dreams and <laughs> wow the message for you guys for today from the sacred destiny oracle deck is a voyage so with this card coming out this is such a beautiful card this is literally a card of that you know you're about to go on a journey uh this can be physically or this can be spiritually you know that you are going to learn more about yourself and if we really take a good look at this like this mom is carrying the baby you can actually balance as well maybe work life and personal life if that's something you want to know that you can balance that so good and with the full moon behind behind these clouds know that some sort of illumination is upon you and that you will see things clear the waters are very still so there's a, a, a lot of calm and peace coming into your reality as well so yeah if something has been very like hectic to know that peace is upon you as well and you are embarking on a journey that is going to really elevate you and really make you really how can i even explain that it's really going to lift your spirits i don't know why i'm hearing that but yeah it's going to lift your spirits and of course with the capricorn energy is maybe a little bit of a more serious energy but yeah to really know that 
um, <laughs> you can have fun with that which you would love to create that we don't have to become uh, too obsessed with it but as well that you know we take responsibility for what we're doing and that we do uh, that we are sincere about it and that is something you are tuning in with right now that you really see for yourself where do i want to go it's really go for it and to really allow yourself even if it seems strange to others that you're going this way or they're like but your child or i don't know whatever it is maybe this child is representation of a project that people are really like confused by that you're going to go about this project but know that with your nor node in capricorn that you can make it a success because you know capricorns can really make things very successful and uh that's so cool that's so beautiful so thanks so much for listening and we will go on to the next so if you're north node or you chose the fourth uh, number if your north node is in aquarius this is going to be your message i have two cards from my own made planet astrology deck and we will see the message for you guys today is it focus yes okay so wow if you have a north node in aquarius we have the sentence i'm one of a kind always when aquarius i think about tune in with your individuality as your individuality will bring in major like importance into a group setting and then we have i know you're different and unique so in this present moment i see for you with this north node something new to us something we're learning to allow yourself to tune in with your uniqueness so really maybe experiment as that is really aquarius energy i always see with aquarius energy those scientists but they don't have to be scientists they can as well be like people in fashion and they are experimenting with clothes or painters and they're experimenting with colors um this can be a lot you know <laughs> this can be a lot a lot with aquarius aquarius is a pretty i would say diverse energy so they have a lot a lot of skills and yeah it's up to them to choose what unique skill they want to tune into and really um put in the forefront so the sentence is the affirmation i know and i feel like the sentence is i know what's best for me you know so that is something you can be using your reality right now so you know what's best for you and then we have the planet i'm not gonna say it because i don't know how to say it in english so <laughs> we have this planet of originality changes innovation reformation and unpredictable in unpredictable <laughs> i don't know where i just went with that but that is cool that's maybe uh, how you feel right now i don't know where that just went or i don't know where i'm going with this or it feels new it feels strange that's kind of aquarius energy it feels a little bit strange um but as well changes so you are experiencing changes in your reality that maybe can come out of nowhere or you are someone that you don't know why but you just bring changes to people's life because that's actually your destiny that you bring that um difference to someone's life and they will probably be totally transformed because of that and you actually reform other things too that you maybe change how things are done you change them and you create something new and that is something you can tune in with as well with the north node as it's something new to you maybe you know and originality to tune in with your originality that's totally fine to be you know your real self you don't have to be as everyone else or what is popular or anything in this matter to really allow your unique colors to shine through and i know it's not the most easy thing if that's short north mode you know <laughs> i know all about this so yeah so that's very cool and innovation you have very innovative ideas allow those to come to the forefront in a group setting maybe you know that you say I have this very great idea and it's maybe not like you guys are used to but I think it's great and let me know what you think about it you know that's what I'm getting so and then the message for you guys for today is from the sacred destiny oracle deck wow <laughs> we have this card right here it's the card of stillness it's the swan beautiful we have a lot of blue in this card and the northern lights as well I feel like yeah the sparkles shine stillness 
So with this card coming true for you guys, know that you don't have to be that active all the time to <laughs> shine. <laughs> getting but you know that you can tune in with stillness that you can allow yourself to just come back to yourself you don't always have to do everything for everybody uh, i know aquarius energy is really an energy that wants to serve a lot of people but as well take time for yourself to enjoy the beauty that's around you and to uh, enjoy time in silence with yourself and to see what it is that you personally you know really love and your individuality individuality your originality because you know northern lights you don't see every day so you know you guys you don't see that every day and that's so beautiful and in the stillness in the stillness is really where you will attain a lot of power so you know maybe if you're a lot in the crowd really go back to the stillness with yourself that will really benefit you in this time so this is so beautiful <laughs> let me know it resonated and we will go to the next so if your north node is in pisces where you chose the fifth pal this is going to be your message for today i have these two cards right here from my own may planet astrology deck and we have of course the pisces card for you guys the sentence that it's had is i am good enough you're generous and loving, I believe. So, you know, with a Pisces North Notes, this is something new to you. Maybe you're learning about uh, your deservingness, that you are good enough, that you are worthy of, like, receiving, and that you can as well just allow things to come to you. You're generous and loving, I believe. To tune in with your imagination, with... Yeah, really the imagination and to see what you personally believe in and your higher um, your higher chakras is what I'm getting. Tune in with those in this present moment to see what your crown chakra is uh, allowing you to receive and you're generous and loving. <laughs> with Neptune right here, planet Neptune is a pretty foggy planet but it's such a beautiful planet to me such a magical energy and I really love Pisces energy so much so if you have that as your north node it's actually very cool to me that in this lifetime it's for you to learn <laughs> the more magical side of life and then you're at the right address right here we are a magical consciousness <laughs> it's so cool but the planet of Neptune is saying compassion, creativity, psychic powers, dreams, intuition, delusions, and imagination. So for you guys, in this present moment, you can tune in with your creativity. That's fine that you are going to do that too. Tune in with your psychic powers to see, um, you know, what that... Um, because actually, you are destined to awaken those. That's your north node. To awaken your psychic powers, your creativity. To see where you can put that in. As well with, you know, uh, the balance of your south node, north node placement. As that is Virgo. Virgos are very good at... Uh, the surface part and taking action and making things very physical so with that as your kind of gift in a sense and then your power that you can awaken you can create such magical things that can be used by many people even but yeah it's really to allow yourself to dream and tune in with your intuition to learn to listen to your intuition more and more every day um and what can we see here to not be afraid of think like what I'm getting with the delusions is that to not get afraid of that that energy of that you maybe don't see fully clearly because you know you have your intuition that always is on it's always clear your intuition is always clear maybe our mind is not and with Pisces you know it's really to trust our intuition even if things don't seem fully clear as I know, that Virgo energy wants everything to be clear. So maybe, you know, that's your message for today. That if it, that if things are not fully clear, maybe that's actually beneficial for you at this time. To really tune in with what you really would like to create with creativity here. And we will have your message from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. Truth. Wow. We have the truth card coming through. Yes. To tune in with your truth and truth to me is the soul you know the soul is truth 
So the message for you guys for today, and it's a very, very strong message, <laughs> is to tune in with your soul, your intuition, and that it maybe takes some time for you guys to do that because it's your nerd note, it's something new to you. So allow yourself to tune in with your personal truth. What do you actually really personally believe in or what you personally would love to see in this reality to create that for yourself? And you don't have to convince anybody else from that, but just you, that you are like, yes, this is my truth and this is what I'm going for. Um, that is so beautiful. That's such a cool energy. And with the tree, you are growing strong roots. Or you are going to grow strong roots that you're really rooted in yourself, in who you are and what you believe in with the Pisces energy or your powers, your psychic powers. So beautiful. <laughs> so let me know what resonated. Thank you so much for listening and we will go on to the next one. So if your North Note is in the sign up, Aries, yeah, this is your message for today. I have two cards from my own made astrology planet deck, and we have the card Aries right here. I am strong, you're powerful and brave. I am, and I know that for this North Node placement to say me is kind of crazy, but yeah, this is what it's about for you right now that you really tune in with I, me, um, that you see for yourself, you know, where you can become independent where you can really take action yourself and to believe in yourself i'm strong that you know that you are strong to say that i am strong i am powerful i'm brave i can do this myself i am able to do this myself and i know it's crazy for you guys sometimes too um that you maybe don't really believe in yourself like that but that's your message for today to really believe in yourself and that you are very powerful and that's you know your destiny for this lifetime that you can really tune in with this aries energy and be so powerful and with your pat uh, <laughs> pat with your pat of mars no with your planet of mars <laughs> we have aggression sex action passion competition and drive courage so this is like these attributes are energies for you to tune in with right now in this present moment your drive your passion where do you would like to take action in um you know to really choose that for yourself to make the decision yourself you don't have to ask for permission in this to really go for it and um courage to, to use that courage to do so and that's so beautiful it's very clear very straight like aries energy to me is always very clear and straight so you know liberal energy is that your south notes that is more of a like a questioning energy and very long like observation energy and maybe asking others but this is about did you make the decision yourself and maybe it doesn't make any sense to anybody but you can make the decision yourself because you know that is your destiny your path and the message for you today from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck is blessings. Wow, you guys have the card of blessings. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And that's such a beautiful card to know that blessings are upon you and beautiful things are coming to you as well as support, the guidance, the protection of your angels, your guides. Whoever you believe in is beside you right now to guide you, to help you maybe make these courageous steps and that you will be watched over and that beautiful things are expanding in your reality and blossoming too. That's so beautiful. <laughs> what am I seeing even more? Yeah, a lot of growth, a lot of green energy in this car. So you will experience major growth and beauty your reality because you choose to be very confident you know this yellow bird really makes me think of a very confident bird because you know it's yellow it's it's so obvious it's so out there to really allow yourself to be so out there and and i know i know for the no, no placements <laughs> that's something that's new to you so yeah you have to take it step by step but know that's within you i know i know it's within you this feeling of that you are so like powerful and this fire that just wants to rise and to tune in with your passion and excitement so yeah that's what i'm feeling for you guys uh, i hope it resonated and we will go to the next
So if your North Node is in Taurus or you picked, oh, which one is it? The seventh pile today. This is your message. We have two cards from Astrology Planet deck that I made myself. And with Taurus, we have I am right. I have your calm, cool, and collected. So, you know, our North Node is the placement of that, what we are learning, what we're tuning into. So you're tuning into that, you know, maybe you are right and that you can actually really believe in yourself and that, you know, uh, Taurus energy, I know Tauruses really love to be right. But if this is your North Node, maybe it's not that uh, something you're familiar with to actually be like, yeah, but I feel like I'm right. Maybe you allow others to be right. And you're like, okay, I'm just not gonna. But Taurus energy is like, I'm right. They're very stubborn. To allow yourself to be stubborn like that, you know. <laughs> and as well, I have to see what you already have right now. Your reality as you, as your destiny, your path is to really know that you can create such beautiful things in your reality. Your destiny, your past really this beautiful, like you create such a beautiful reality for yourself because with the planet of Venus as your planet for your North Node, like lucky, oh my God, I love the planet of Venus. Beauty, charm, harmony, love, sensuality, and art. That is something you can tune in with for this lifetime. And maybe it's not something you're used to at all because you know, <laughs> with Scorpio energy is your South Node, that is that is a total different energy it's very like mysterious and dark and intense and yeah <laughs> well Taurus it's very out in the open it's very like almost naked energy I really always see with Taurus you know these uh, palaces these very beautiful palaces where people just walk in the most beautiful clothes or fully naked because they don't really care um, they really live in harmony and love for themselves and art and beauty they choose to live a life of art their life is their art their beauty and they choose of course themselves what is beautiful to them and that's for you right now you know to tune in with that sensuality with the beauty the art whatever is beautiful to you to allow yourself to uh, indulge in that and maybe that's not something you're used to, to indulge in things but that is something you are learning in this lifetime that it's okay to do that to that's okay to indulge in what you have um that is so cool and we have attraction relationships so you know for this lifetime as well that you are going to learn a lot from being in a relationship or being together with someone uh, an attraction that you know that scorpio quality of <laughs> scorpios can be very alluring too so you have that uh, gift with you but then with the taurus energies to kind of soften it to not be that sharp but more like just this soft energy coming in someone's reality instead of like like that you just come in slowly as Taurus is a slow moving energy so <laughs> with the message from the sacred destiny oracle deck we have enlightenment wow beautiful you guys are rising above a lot of things you guys are going to see a higher perspective uh, you guys will tune in with yeah that's what I was getting with love in this card you know love is the soul so you guys are learning to tune in with your soul and where it is guiding you whatever that is for you that you know maybe it seems strange to others that you're doing this what you're doing but you know what you're doing because you're like um hello I'm flying away it's working so <laughs> You know, whatever you're doing, it's working. That's your message for right now to really know that whatever you're doing, it's working and to allow yourself to go on the path that is, you know, in connection to what you find beautiful and that is going to really expand you and really expand your horizons in such powerful ways. And wow, so, so beautiful. So let me know how it resonates. Thank you so much for listening and we'll go to the next. So if you pick the 8th POW or the North Node in Gemini, this is going to be your message. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited. That's so funny. So we have two cards right here from my own made uh, Astrology Planet deck. We have the card of Gemini, I'm understood, you're smart and talkative, I think. So these are the things you're tuning in with. Of course, with the North Node, it's something you're learning, it's new to you in this lifetime. So I am understood. With Sagittarius, you're very good at understanding others. But this is your normal place, placement of Gemini. Other people understanding you. 
you know you're maybe used to listening to others being like yeah yeah and not really sharing yourself what you actually think of it uh with gemini gemini's have such a good mind you know their planet is mercury they have such a powerful mind and that is actually something you are going to be tuning in with in this lifetime this present moment as well how smart you are and how good your mind actually works and it's something to tune in with to allow as well it's maybe new to you to really allow your mind to work that powerful but you're smart and talkative maybe you you know don't share that much but to really allow yourself to share what you're thinking of and that's totally fine and to know that there are people out there that will understand you i'm understood to understand yourself too because that's where it all begins you know if you understand yourself then other people then other people will come into your reality that understand you too but i'm understood i understand you <laughs> that's that is very powerful and then with the planet of mercury we have communication skills intellect cleverness reason mind and language so you know, this is something maybe like, yeah, it's new to you to tune in with like this communication skills. But it's actually something you can really, really uh, become so powerful at in this lifetime. Your communication and your cleverness and your intellect is going to be of such importance in your life. And you will notice, you will get so excited because of you sharing what you think of. Your ideas, your ways of seeing the world. You're going to be so excited about this. And that's what I had when I almost like, when I started this reading, I felt it. I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited to share. Um, yeah, that's, I feel like the, the energy for the North Node is to allow yourself to share, even if it's scary, because you know it's your North Node. And then the message for you guys from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck is taking risks. Ooh, very cool. We have the Hawk. The Hawk is a very clear energy. Um, sees very clearly. So, you know, you guys see very clearly. You guys see higher perspectives, too. Taking risks. Yeah, maybe things don't make sense to anybody, but that's funny. We have, I'm understood. You know, you're taking risks and I feel like, you know, if you're going to take risks, maybe people don't understand right now, but they will understand because, you know, you are so smart. Like, I feel like people don't really, how am I saying this? Some people underestimate how smart you are and they're like, why is this person taking this risk? risk but to really believe in yourself and they will understand later on because they will see what kind of smart moves you actually make because you are that smart you know so that is so cool and to really believe in yourself um to know that you will see clarity in whatever risk you are willing to take so that is so cool thank you so much for listening and we will go on to the next so, if your North Node is in Cancer or you picked a ninth pal, we have two cards from our homemade Astrology Planet deck. We have the Cancerian card right here. I am needed. I feel. You're nurturing and caring. So, this is something you're tuning into with this lifetime. You know, this is your present moment. Something you can learn or allow yourself to be more of. This Cancerian energy. I'm needed. To know that your presence is such of an importance, like, it's crazy that with the Cancerian energy, it's a very nurturing energy. How nurturing your presence only can be to others, um, to whoever you feel like you want to... Um, show up for you know this this is so different for everybody but i am needed to know that you are needed to not allow the thought of oh i'm not like you know nah, nah, i'm just going to like yeah and you know that's what i'm getting and to really know that you are needed and that you can tune in with your feelings you know i feel it's okay to feel and to experience your emotions and it's something you're learning in this lifetime to really tune in with those uh, you're nurturing and caring so in this present moment allow yourself to take care of yourself too of course and to see where you would love to take care of others in whatever way that is or nurture others or nurture um doesn't have to even be ha does not even have to be people but can be environment can be plants can be anything because if i think about cancers you know it does not only have to be with in regards to other people but as well can be environment uh, or their own body or their own energy or you know whatever it is to nurture it to take care of it and with the planet the moon we have sensitivity nurturing instincts and moods unconsciousness so 
you guys <laughs> you guys actually something you're very good at is being very conscious about things but there are a lot of things that you can actually really as well with the moon tune into with this lifetime to see what is in the unconscious part of not only yourself but as well for example the world uh, where you will see that there are still some lights to be shed on things and with sensitivity you will be very sensitive to it or you will tune in with your sensitivity to allow that as well instincts to trust your instincts and you know with the moon it's that you allow to flow with your natural cycles whatever you feel like that you allow that to be there you know with the capricorn energy is an ongoing energy it's like go 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 maybe you're in a winter energy or maybe you're in a summer energy to really allow yourself to them be in that energy and to not force anything else you know that's very cool and we have one card <laughs> From the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck, a message for you guys for this present moment. If your North Node is in Cancer, purity. Oh, that's so much. Wow. So with this card coming out, is to know that purity can always be restored in reality. That purity is something always existing. And that, you know, you are right now purifying in a state of maybe releasing or seeing what is what has been unconscious in reality um whatever that is as well that you are a pure presence you know i am needed your energy is so pure and that can of course you know have to set some boundaries with cancer energy but yeah that is so cool it's so beautiful and that you will see more sides you know your instincts because we have two colors in the eyes you will see maybe both sides to things and that's powerful it's very very powerful and that's going to be your power in this lifetime that you see multiple sides to a situation and you will know what which direction you would like to go what is in alignment with your purity with your energy field being in a state of purity and where you can allow yourself to be sensitive and to nurture whatever you like to nurture and that is so beautiful. So let me know how it resonated. Thank you so much for listening. And we will go to the next. If your North Node is in the sign of Leo. I just had to laugh. Because this is my North Node placement. And I was like, how am I going to do this? But yeah, we're going to do it. Okay, so if your North Node placement is in Leo. Or you picked the, I don't know which palaces uh, anymore. Because we we're so far away from like the first ball. <laughs> that I don't know anymore. But we have two cards right here from my own made uh, planet astrology deck and we have the card leo i am loved i will you're loyal and warm so this is something you're learning in this lifetime it's something new to you to be loved for example by others that others love your presence um you know that you allow yourself to come out of hiding and that you just allow yourself your uniqueness to be seen and we have with the planet of sun, we have self-expression, self, ego, courage, boldness, and consciousness. So for you in this lifetime, it's to actually, you know, really, <laughs> the sun, to be in the light, to be seen. And, you know, that you will become as well conscious of a lot of stuff that was hidden. You will see a lot of things that were not revealed um, and... You know, they will come to the light for you. If you have an ordinary Leo, there will be a lot of things, maybe in your own mind, being revealed to you. Stories, because we have self-ego. The stories your ego is telling you, in this lifetime, you will be seeing them very clearly. And it's to tune in with your boldness, to be courageous with your self-expression. And for me personally, this has been something so difficult, as that's the North Node. It's something new to you. It's something you're learning. And it's something out of your comfort zone. So... And we maybe feel like, you know, if we are expressing ourselves to maybe dim it down a little bit again or to think, oh my God, what if nobody like, you know, what if we will be hated for this? But <laughs> know that there are people out there as well that will love you for it. And that you can love yourself is the most important thing to love yourself for your own presence and that you deserve to be seen. I will. To use your willpower to keep going, to use your persistence, to tune in with that, to learn to be persistent and to keep putting in your efforts and you're loyal and warm to really really in this lifetime to stay true to that to your warmth to your loyalty 
uh, to not let go of that. As that's something you're learning, you know, we can maybe easily fall back to letting that go uh, as it is our our note, but to really uh, know that you can be loyal as well to yourself. That is the most important thing with Leos, you know. Um, maybe nobody likes them but they like themselves they are loyal to themselves and guess what they will see on the outside if they stay true to themselves other people as well are going to be true to them so <laughs> we have a message from the sacred destiny oracle deck we have change oh my god yes so for you guys we have a change a change in this present moment is happening on your path your destiny it's going to bring you somewhere new it's going to shift your reality in big ways because this is an energy of far away you know it's very high in the sky with this air balloon um as well with the horse of freedom um wow i saw the sun here too so that's so cool going towards your sun you know that is your north node to go towards what that is that lights you up and to know that major changes are happening and maybe sometimes it's a little bit cloudy you don't see that clearly but know that those will pass and that you will once again see the light things will come to you know your awareness and you will know where to go or where you know your path is leading you and to really allow that to uh, to do that <laughs> i will <laughs> i will do so you know that's the message i'm hearing i will do so and that is your message for today let me know how it resonated and we will go to the next if you have a north note in virgo this is going to be your message for today i have two cards from my homemade planet astrology deck and we will see your message so with the north note in virgo we have the message on here i am worth it i analyze you're practical and down to earth so this is something new to you there's something you're learning in this reality to know your words to know what you're worthy of and that it's okay to analyze things in your reality that you don't have to feel weird about you analyzing your situations or whatever you are experiencing that is that is actually your path you're not know to analyze where you are and that you're like am i worthy of this or am i worthy of more and that is your path and that's what i'm getting and you're practical and down to earth that's something you are learning as well to be practical practical about your stuff to stay <laughs> stay calm and present in this present moment instead of going like all over the place thinking all this stuff maybe a little bit more heated but this is a little bit more of a clean pure energy that you are going to be experiencing in this lifetime if you tune in with it of course but know that you are worthy that's very important and with your planet of mercury communication skills intellect cleverness reason mind and language your cleverness your brain is of such importance in this lifetime to really know that you can use it and that you know you thinking about stuff is your superpower actually in this lifetime in your destiny that your cleverness your intellect your way of communicating is something that's going to be awakened for you and it's going to awaken more and more because it's your neuro it's something you are tuning into that your communication skills are going to be something that you will be using and it's going to be yeah just something very powerful for you and to know that you are worthy as well to be heard and to allow your communication to come through to be seen and that your intellect is actually for some people really needed and that you can really allow that to come through and to maybe be of service to others to really use your smart brain or your very powerful brain to guide others and you know mind and language that <laughs> you're I don't know how to say this that maybe some like for some of you guys you're actually really inspired in regards to language or com communicating more but something you're really putting to the back burner because of self-worth to really allow your self-worth to come through i literally just heard a siren and i was getting a message with it to <laughs> siren that's so funny because you know if you think about mermaids okay this is very random but if you think about mermaids they had a siren they allowed themselves to be heard allow yourself to be heard as well and that your siren is needed <laughs> people need to hear it you know so the message for you guys from the sacred destiny oracle deck is adventures oh my god okay you guys you guys 
know that you are protected while you go on adventures <laughs> but for you guys it's important to allow yourself to be uh, courageous adventurous in regards to you advancing in new things that's what I'm getting so really to uh, yeah, to really know that you know the path where you want to go, you know where you want to go, you know where you want to fly, you know, to spread your wings and to go there. To allow that, to to allow yourself to go new places, to see new places, um, to go out in the world with Virgo as an earth element, you know, the planet. To allow yourself to see places on this planet that you can go out there in the world and see new territories and to learn maybe new things with, you know, Virgo and the Mercury uh, energy that, you know, you can learn from other people too. Or you can learn from you going on adventures and your experiences will be of great importance to others too if you want to share those. So that was your message for today. Thank you so much for listening we will go to the next so if your north node is in the sign of libra this is going to be your message and this is the last one for today last but not least and we have two cards from my own made uh, astrology planet deck <laughs> i've said this 12 times now it's so crazy but yeah <laughs> we will go into it so with libra here we have i'm appreciated you're funny and classy i balance so you know your north node is something you are tuning in in with is something new to you in this lifetime so in this lifetime it's actually new to you to be appreciated by others so that's very cool to me uh you know you will learn to balance out things more and as well that you know that you can allow yourself to be funny and classy <laughs> that's so cool you're funny and classy you know that you can allow your funny side to shine through as well not everything has to be so serious uh, and with Libra too. And Libra is always for me, you know, it's kind of this flirtatious energy. They just have fun and they like, it's not that serious to them, but of course they have in regards to relationships, um, a very powerful, uh, how you say this, a powerful gift or something they will be tuning in with in this lifetime because your planet for your North node is Venus, beauty, charm, harmony, love, sensuality, art attraction and relationships so this is something new to you for this lifetime you know that you are going to tune in with art with beauty with harmony with love and sensuality to allow yourself to really see for yourself you know to enjoy life's beauty to enjoy life's art and um that that is totally okay to tune in with that as well you know to not feel guilty or anything about it that you just really take the time to actually appreciate the beauty that is here or you know whatever kind of art is beautiful to you or awakens your senses with libra as well libras are pretty logical too but it's funny to me how Libras, you know, they are more of on the party side. I always think about Libras. They are the funny person, indeed, as a sad funny. But they have as well a very, like, justice kind of energy to them. Very classy. And, you know, they can be very sincere if it's needed. And then they really have this powerful thing they can share for other people to hear. But with Libra, you know, and... This is not something you're used to, to actually tune in with not knowing everything. Is that they're like, oh my god, should I do this or should I do that? You know, the skill. They're like, should I do this or that? This or that? And then they're like, okay, I'm just going to ask this person what they think of it. And then I would just do that because I don't want to think about this any longer. And I now see this dragonfly. So as well, your truth is very important. But that is something you're not used to actually to um have this moment of this or that for a long time you're actually with the aries energy are pretty quick at making a certain decision and with this liver energy it's actually totally okay if you are going to think about something for a longer time or to ask others what they think about it because you know maybe that's not something you're used to to ask others for guidance or help but that's something that's going to be very helpful on your path other people that are going to as well be there to support with relationships and attraction and that you can attract as well with the liver energy that you know <laughs> you may be taking way more time it will probably attract way more in your lifetime than if you would go and go and go for a lot of stuff you maybe will push it away and you're in a state of being present enjoying the beauty the art will attract so much beautiful things to you and then the last message we have is from the sacred destiny oracle deck 
this is what you're experiencing right now we have purification wow so know that you're protected while you're purifying but you are right now letting go of so many stuff you're really purifying your reality of things that no longer were allowing you to really bloom and really uh, get you to your full potential there were probably a lot of stuff that will would uh were not allowing you to grow to your full potential but now you allowing things to just fall away out of your life you're letting go clearing out taking time for yourself your energy yourself you know taking care of yourself so important with the libra energy because libras actually are the sign that take maybe the most care of their physical appearance they how they look they're more into you know how they look um <laughs> their clothes my sister for example is a libra moon and she's like with her clothes should i wear this or should i wear that what is the most cute you know that kind of stuff <laughs> so really allow yourself to tune in with what you find beautiful and what you would love to as well experience in this physical incarnation that it's okay to tune in with you know just whatever you would love to I don't know, it's kind of that Taurus energy, you know, that you indulge in the early realm things. But with Libra, it's maybe a little bit more up into the mind as well to really allow your mind to be stimulated in a way that helps you out instead of overstimulates you, you know. So yeah, that's what I was getting with purification. You're purif purifying your reality right now and it's going to be very helpful on your path. So thank you so much for listening and that was the last one for today. If you want to like, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing and I wish you all such a beautiful day today.